So thank you for joining very much today. Uh, we have on the third Wednesday of each uh, month is our AgCom webinar. Uh, we also have all those archives, so when you get a chance, go out and see the other recordings we've done. But today we want to talk about equipment checkout. And uh, Scott Swanson, our electronic media specialist, and Elizabeth Cronin, our administrative assistant and conference coordinator in AgCom, are going to be demoing some of the goodies that you can check out uh, through AgCom. So Scott or Elizabeth, who gets the pleasure of starting first today? Well, maybe I can just start with a, an overview about um, how you check out equipment. So you can go to the ACOM website right on the left side of the screen. There's a link for equipment checkout. You can take a look at the things we're demoing today and some of the other things that we have available. And then when you know, decide what you want, you can just shoot me an email uh, or give me a call. The email's easier. Let me know what you want and the days you want it. We don't really have a set time frame for how long or you can keep an item as long as it's reasonable and we keep in mind um, you know that it might be needed by another person another area so you know if you're not around here you want to pick it up maybe a week or two before your event and you're not coming back to Fargo until the week after you know we can work around that so a few a few weeks is fine for most items unless it's in high demand um, but we'll just kind of take that on a case-by-case -case basis so they're seeing the screen now here so they would see our this is the if you want to show them explain oh what sure you they're seeing this now yeah so this is our equipment checkout page um, kind of grouped by category of item banners the different cameras that we have computers and printers um, so you can just scroll down and take a look at everything here. Uh, a lot of them have pictures, so you can click on the, the link and a photo will pop up of the item most of the time. Oh, there it is. There's our presentation timer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we might as well just go ahead and start. If we just, you can just go ahead and start from the top if you want. Maybe you want to, sure. so we'll scroll back up and... Just yeah, start we from have, the top and show off a few things. Banners are actually one of the things that get checked out the most. Um, actually, if we have the camera back on. Well, they, they, it should be on for them. They should see that oh, at the same see time me. as the screen. Yeah. Cool. Well, behind me, we have two of our floor banners. These ones just have the extension logo. And people check these out if they have a speaker and want to have a backdrop. Um, so kind of just a nice, better than maybe the paneling in a hotel or um, something that's a little more you know, extension specific. Sure. Or if you have a messy office. <laughs> yeah. We're recording videos. Yeah. Um, you want to have that have... in your background instead of just the wall? Sure. We have the... tabletop. We have that. This one right here? Yeah, the 4-H one. Uh, here's an example of one of our tabletop banners. This happens to be the 4-H one. Right. Let's just snap together. Pull it up. Um, so we have one of these for each of our program areas, and then we have the full floor height ones too. Um, so if you have an event and want to, you know, promote our programs. Um, there's one also floor model that has all of the extension programs on it. There it is. I'll take that from you. Yeah, it looks like cameras are up next, Scott. Oh, yes. All right. Well, we'll switch spots here. Uh, and there's lots of camera equipment and cameras that uh, you can check out. Um, I'll go back to the website real quick here so we can see. Um, so I can talk about a couple of them. I'll explain them quick, and then I'll maybe show them a little bit here. Um, okay. okay, so hopefully you guys are seeing the screen again, or my web, the, the, the checkout website. Starting from the top the with video cameras, um, there's a couple old ones on there and a couple newer cameras we have. Number 88 there, the first one. That's an older uh, as it says, not high definition camera. We uses tape. You wouldn't really want to check it out. Of those three, I would say the most one that gets checked out is number 
104. That's our new Canon one. And that's right here. And it's a uh, little handheld. We call them prosumer cameras or I guess it's more just like a consumer type. But if you want to sound more high tech, you can say it's a prosumer because it's a little it's got a few more features, I guess, than some of this. Maybe a general camcorder so we might have at home because it does have what we really like as it has a mic input. Now I'm going to switch this back here real quick um, so I can see. Um, so this camera, like I said, has a, a microphone input, and we have microphones available then to check out. They're not included with the bag, though, so you'll need to talk, tell Elizabeth that you want to check out camera 104 to record, um, but you also want to have uh, a, lav, a lav mic or the wireless mic. This is a, a corded mic, so you just plug it in. It's got the cord, and it's a lavalier mic that you clip on. <clears throat> but we also have, and this is brand new, uh, within, I don't know, six months to a year, uh, a wireless system. It's called a Sennheiser. It's very nice. This I think this. Well, I shouldn't say how much it costs, but very good quality microphones. And this is a wireless then. So you plug this little side, this little guy right that part, into the camcorder, and then you got the, your wireless microphone again, a clip-on lavalier mic to walk around and and record all the audio. Very good uh, quality microphone. And there's also one other wireless that you, know, that you can check out, again, that works well um, with this uh, camera. Um, and it has built-in memory, and also it has an SD card that goes in there. I believe it's a 16 gigabyte one, that when you're recording on the highest quality setting, um, there's like four quality set record, uh, settings on here. The highest quality setting, you still get almost I think it's like 107, maybe an hour and 50 minutes or something like that. It's almost two hours on the highest setting. You bump that quality down just to the next one, which is it on right now, and it's almost three hours of recording time and, and all the way down. Even to um, six hours is on the lowest quality setting, which that's just on the SD card inside. There's still more memory on the built-in side. So. And this, of course, runs on battery, but it does have a plug-in, and you can run it off the the chart, the, the plug-in, too, if you, you know, have a – Eight, eight, you know, four or five hour long session. You can plug into the wall and record from there and not worry about the battery dying on you. So, um, <clears throat> the next one on there, let me jump back up here and try to present again. So, the next one down into the still cameras. Um, again, we have a few on there to pick from, but I would say the most popular one because it's the newest and the nicest one is our Nikon. The D40, so number 94 there under the still cameras, the Nikon D40. And I'm not going to move back the camera. I'll hopefully can demonstrate this well enough, even though I don't know <laughs> where I'm at in the frame here. But here's the uh, the Nikon that I was talking about. Very nice uh, camera. I don't shoot pictures a lot, um, but I've taken this out many times and just, you know, snap off a ton of pictures because with the SD cards you keep in here, I, I don't want to venture to a guess, but you're in the thousands of pictures that you're going to be able to take before it's going to run out of space. So me not being a great photographer, sometimes I just, you know, just take a lot and you get back and you hope you find a couple that, that work for you. Um, but even for uh, somebody who maybe is a little more professional type photographer, this is still a really good good camera to have. It shoots really good, really good pictures. Like I said, I've used it for a few projects myself. So if I do want to use that and I want some pointers on photography skills, what options oh, yeah. do you have? Well, there, uh, yeah, I, I forgot about that because if you see underneath uh, the still cameras there, it says photography instructional DVDs. So about a year ago, we picked up this little series of courses. or It's, almost, it's, a, it's a course, um, which has a series of videos and lectures and stuff where you can learn more about photography. So if you see right there, photography instructional DVDs, and, and that's available for checkout as well. Um, but also on, on our uh, AgCom page here too, if you just want to maybe need some real quick tips, you don't have, you're not going to be taking a full course. You could go over to trainings and tutorials, and there's photography right there, um, and there's photo tips. You can read about some different tips on that there's also i believe a video that bruce put on here which i'm not sure where that's at right now but we also have a video out there on taking pictures as well it's about a 15 minute video that bruce put on youtube um i can't see that here right now but it's out there trust me 
as well as for video, um, I just was there here on our video services page, or even on the trainings tutorials page. Correct. It was. It was at the Portland on the back page. The how to capture this one. Yeah. I yeah, that's the new one. Yeah, that's the video one. Yep. Yep. So under, um, I was just on the video services. Sorry, I'm jumping around a lot here. So video services along the side here. This is our video services page. Over on the right, how to capture quality video. And it's a little video, just gives you some quick tips. Um, something to watch maybe before you go out and shoot. So a few reminders before you go out and shoot some video. Um, you yeah, can it's not that long either, right? I think it's uh, a little over 11 minutes. Goes over a whole spectrum of issues you might face while you're outside. Wind, lighting, um, not having the right equipment and ways to possibly help you out on that. So. So I'm going to go back to the checkout here. And where are we at? Computers and printers. Or maybe I'll run down and go to the bottom here and talk about the other microphone equipment real quick since I'm already sitting here. And it's still re related to video. So on the very bottom, you got video recording accessories. And we actually have a few uh, microphones designed for your phone. Smartphone. As it says, smart lav microphones. And so if you see right here, it even says smart lav. So it's made for your uh, cell phone, your smartphone, and it's a lav mic, a little clip-on lavalier microphone. And this cord, I think, is about six feet long. But each one, we have three of these for checkout, and I also have one in my office. So technically, Adcom has four. So if you ever run out of the ones here, if Elizabeth doesn't have one available, she can check with me too. But these don't get checked out as much as I wish they did. So don't think you, you know, if you live out, you know, maybe from one of the counties and you're in Fargo and you want one and you might not be back for a month, I wouldn't say don't worry about, you know, checking that out because they don't get checked out enough, I think. But anyways, each one also comes with a 20-foot extension cable. So if you want to interview somebody and you feel like you don't want to have your phone or, you know, right, you know, six feet away from them, you got the extension cable. You can set the camera on a tripod and be a little further distance away from them as you're recording an interview with them or even maybe if you're doing a stand-up yourselves where you have the tripod with your phone on it you know somewhere and you wanted to back away a little bit and do something on on camera you got about 26 feet now that you can get away from the, the camera or the phone um, I mentioned tripod that is because we also have four of these tripod adapters for your phone and so what you do is you just pull this out right here stretches out and now your phone is connected to the tripod adapter and I already got one on the on our tripod and you see here then it just twists right on to the top of the oh, I'm twisting it wrong way there there we go so it twists right on to the top of the tripod and now you'd have your tripod here to have a good steady shot there you go this is up okay. so you'd have your phone on here you'd have a nice steady shot with your phone on the tripod and this is also available for checkout as well so we do have one um this is just wonder we have two tripods we have two one is being repaired so okay like... one's being repaired <laughs> well if you ever would need another one too bruce and i have one sure. sometimes two up in the office depending on which one of us have our personal ones up there as well so like i said four of these microphone uh, smartphone microphones and four of those tripod adapters as well so so check those out um Looking at that page again then, so yeah, you got the smart lav, the adapters, and then on the bottom is those wireless microphones um, that I showed you before, uh, the ones that work well with the camcorder. So that's, uh, I think I'm done with that little section, so let's scroll back up here. Where were we at then? Computers and printers? Computers. Yeah, I think another item that gets checked out a lot are the, the laptops in our training bank. We have 20 laptops, and they come two to a briefcase, so people will... Um, grab a few if they want to, if they're doing some more hands-on training um, actually I'm gonna move the camera because I think everyone knows the laptops that's pretty, um, no, don't pretty show that. Easy. but we do have um, you should turn this camera around yeah I'm gonna stop this presenting so we can see here sure. there. I can hold it for you oh you got it right there yeah, yeah. We have this uh, all-in-one. On, there we go. All-in-one touchscreen uh, computer. So if you ever had a an event and you wanted to have maybe a, 
a more interactive um, presentation, or maybe you're putting a, um, you're demoing uh, something that, I don't know, you, you, we could have, I'm thinking of different things that I might use it for. And one of them, if you had something you wanted people to register on site, you could have this available or a survey or something that you want to, you know, move around. I think there'd be a lot of cool ways you could use it. Um, Did you mention Big Iron? Yeah, uh, John Nowatzki was the last one to check it out, and he headed out at Big Iron. I'm not sure exactly what he was doing. Um, but it's a nice, large 27-inch monitor, so mm -hmm. you got some nice pictures or videos playing, or like you said, an interactive display. It's yeah, definitely going to catch be. people's attention. Yeah, and there are the keyboards. So you don't have to use the touch screen to type, but you can. Nice. All right. Uh, what's next on there? Display boards, easels. I don't know if we have anything about that. Is Presentation that timer? Yeah. We'll just spin over here then a little bit since you have sure. it right there. So I set up our presentation timer. I have it going here. Where do I see my time? Well, I did have it going. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Maybe I didn't hit start. Um, so it, you can put your time, it counts up or counts down. I have it here to count down. So you can set the time of your presentation. And just a way to keep speakers or yourself on track mm -hmm. if you know there's a tendency to run over time or you're on a really tight schedule. Um, so this part is where you enter your time and we'll do the counting down for you. Um, this little stoplight looking piece, um, just a quick glance, um, when you start your presentation, the green light will come on. I'm not sure why it's not on right now. Um, and then the yellow light starts flashing as a warning sign. That, you know, two minutes left, need to start wrapping up. And then the red light will come on at the end. Just a way to glance and see that, oh, the yellow flashing light, time for me to start doing a quick wrap up. It's a kind of a neat little handy thing. I know it's been used for the Master Gardener classes. I think they borrowed it and used it at uh, Paul Conference last year too for a few okay. of the a few of the sessions. Mm -hmm. So uh, remotes. So presentation remotes. I'm assuming we're talking about more about a clicker. Yeah. Yeah, that's everybody just calls them, right? The clickers. We have a number of these little the advancers for PowerPoints. You just plug it into your computer, the USB port. Um, those get checked out quite a bit. Okay. How about if you have a presentation and you need a projector? Yeah, we actually have some nice, very small and portable projectors. A lot of them get so clunky and hard to carry. These are nice and small, really good quality displays. Yeah, I mean, they've gotten smaller, but yet better quality because we've used those before and they're really nice, really nice projectors. Uh, Pocket projector? I guess I didn't. We I've oh, never actually seen that. Or we talked we about it. We do have a, a much smaller. The quality is not quite as good as these. But if you did, were really limited on space and wanted to have maybe a backup, that's where the pocket one could come in handy. Okay. Uh, project. Go on further. Projector screens. I don't think we brought any one of those in, but I'm they're, guessing those are just the large. Yep. White. We have big ones that. Projector screens. Yep, okay. Large. How about down to the public address systems? We have. You mentioned, go ahead, Dylan, with you know, we have the Fender, the big anchor ones. Talk, talk about those real quick. We have a couple a couple larger models. Um, I think one is actually owned by 4-H, but we keep it here. They use it in the summer. And another one, um, those would be maybe nice for a big outdoor event where you need to have um, sound amplification. For a smaller room, um, we have this really nice portable one. Um, I don't know if you have... Yeah, I was just you picked this one out. So. And, well, I just did a little research on it and, and suggested it to Becky since they were, she knew somebody who had one similar. And I've never actually used it, but I just tried it here. I just know it's not on camera yet, so I'm not seeing it. It's just a small little portable one called Hisonic. And uh, it's really easy to use. Just got the power button on the side. It's battery powered. So you just once you know it's charged up with the plug-in, power button on the side. And it's got two wireless microphones that go with it. Um, and with that, with each one of them, there's also a headset. So I wanted Sony to wear this, but I guess I'll demo it real quick. So 
See, it's got its own little headset here to uh, have. Here's the, here, I'll take over the wireless. So instead of the lav mic, you just plug in this wireless headset if you want. And once you have it on, you've got, uh, we got audio, Amplifi amplified audio. And I'll turn that off now. And that, so it has two headsets and also has two clip-on lav mics. That would work with the wireless. So you have two wirelesses, two headsets to go with that if you want to wear a headset versus wearing the clip on mic. And both work amplify with this little guy. And obviously not a not for maybe a large outdoor event or a large meeting space, but small group of fifty maybe that might work well. I think it has been used outdoors once as a, in a pinch. The volume goes pretty loud and it was okay um, if there were no other option. So. Okay, last thing I see on here is, uh, oh, wait, uh, speakers and microphones for desktops. I brought in that solo microphone. So you can obviously just check out, as it said, speakers and microphones for your computer. So you can just check out regular old computer speakers. But we also have this um, solo USB microphone that's available. And... It's just a little microphone you can kind of sit on your sit on your desk. Maybe it would take the place of a, of a headset that you have if you don't want to use a headset or if it's not working correctly. Um, I've used this a lot for web conferencing stuff. Um, other people have borrowed it for Skype meetings or collaborate meetings because it just has a USB plug-in, and then you can just set it on your desk in front of you. It picks up audio really nice. I think the last thing on here was table runners. I don't know if we brought anything in. Tablecloths and runners. You want to talk about that at all? I didn't bring those. Uh, there are photos on the website if you want to take a look at what we have. Um, if we go back to a con, um, or if you can just use the back button, I think, or exhibits. Yeah, displays and exhibits. Oh, is that how they can see them? Okay. And if you page down. I'm going to show that. I'm not showing it right now here. So Actually, the, for the table runners, they're on the equipment checkout. Oh, they are. Oh. They're um, a hyperlink. You can open a photo to see what they look like. Okay. So I'll go back here. Sorry for scrolling through it fast here, folks. Um, where are we at? Tablecloths and runners. So give you an idea what that looks like. There's the yellow one. Green one. And then there's NDSU. So if you need an extension or just NDSU. Oh, okay. So the first, yep, first two extension ones. And then two we have two, a large black tablecloth and a large white tablecloth if you need something to go underneath. Forgot about 